Hello and welcome to the Pro Yaku Report, Volume 1, Episode 22, Starters vs. Relievers, Part 1. I had an interesting discussion with John Gibson this past week, and it went something like this. John said, The Bay Stars need to get another foreign pitcher. I replied, We don't need no stinking gaijin. And we went back and forth for a little while, while I tried to narrow down exactly what it was he was trying to get at, you know, kind of the heart of the matter. Then John said, If it were my team, I'd be looking to get a good AAA guy to help in the pin. If Sosha's going to close, they have to get to him before some fool has a meltdown. To which I replied, Pitchers leading up to the closer? I don't really get the impression that that's an issue. So maybe I'll have to research that a little more. Gibson son, he replied, Please do. So I crunched the numbers and found that through the end of play on Friday, May 25th, Yokohama starters suffer from a 5.15 earned run average compared to their relievers who have a respectable 3.78 ERA. That places Yokohama's relief core in third place in the Central League and fifth place between all 12 Pro Yaku teams. Starters, on the other hand, are in dead last for both league and NPB. And they are doing so by almost a full run per nine innings. While the team overall is actually just slightly better than Nocton. But now, let's take a slightly closer look at what's going on with Yokohama's pitchers. I divided everybody up with their starting and relieving statistics. As you can see, there are five pitchers who have um, both started and relieved so far this season. And if we look at just George Sosha, he has thrown more than anyone else on the team. And having give up seven runs in 21 innings, he's got an ERA of exactly 3.00. Not necessarily tops of the charts for closers, but it is better than the disgraced Shun Yamaguchi, who has also given up seven runs so far this season, but doing so in just 18 innings. So, as a closer, I'm kind of thinking maybe Sosha is the better choice. My contention is that we, what we really need are some better starters, as they are suffering much more than the relief core. So let's take a look at some of the people who have converted between um, relieving and starting and vice versa. First of all, we have Hiroshi Kobayashi. If we go down to the beginning of the season, let's see, that's preseason. Uh, Kobayashi finally got called up on May 1st, and he was mainly used in relief. Um, right up up until May 15th, when he got his first start. He turned out to not have a very good start that one outing, but his relief appearances in six and two-thirds of an inning have been exceptional. He has only allowed two hits from the 25 batters he has faced so far. Next, let's have a look at Kazuki Mishima. 
Uh, Mishima, of course, started off the season as a reliever. Here's where the season starts. He started off the season in the bullpen. And in the bullpen, he did so-so. Um, he allowed 11 runs, 10 of them earned over 16 and a third innings. But more recently, he has been called on as a starter. And while he um, kind of had a rough outing, his very first one on May 5th, he has really shown his last two outings, even though that was a really, really tough one to two loss against Oryx this past week. With Mishima, he started after starting the season as a reliever, and I think he has done pretty well as a starter. Next is Soichi Ino. Ino started off the season as a starter, um, had a couple of appearances in relief, and you'll notice that this is after Interleague started. Now, what's going on here is Eno is basically the Bay Stars' number six reliever. So with um, Interleague having pretty much two days on, a day off, two days on, a day off, four days on, um, kind of a really weird schedule, the necessity of a sixth starter has greatly decreased. And I think that that's what we're seeing with Eno's shift to the bullpen at the start of Interleague. He did start again on May 23rd against SoftBank, and he got the win. Eno has been fairly consistent as both a starter and a reliever. 4.91, 4.50, not necessarily the best, but when he's been on his game, he has really pitched well. Next, uh, Kintaro Takasaki. And we are starting to get into people with uh, really bad ERAs. <laughs> Uh, Takasaki um, started off the season in the rotation and um, like Eno, he's kind of at the end, the, the backside of the starting rotation. So once Interleague started, for him too, he's been moved to the bullpen. And unfortunately, he has not fared that well in the bullpen. But actually, if you look at his numbers, he's doing better in the bullpen than he did as a starter. So, um, I don't know. Jury's still out on uh, what his role should be. But so far, he's looking better in the pen. And finally, there's... Kenji Tsuchiya. Tsuchiya, in his one start on April 29th, really got blown away. He gave up six runs and one and a third innings, which was not a good outing at all. In the bullpen, he has really shown. He's thrown four innings and four appearances, allowing just one earned run two runs overall, and I really don't see why he hasn't come back. It seems as though he was doing well in the pin. They decided to bring him in as a starter, and he melted down after just throwing uh, more than one inning. So it looks to me like maybe he can't handle the workload of a starter, but in the bullpen, he's just fine. If we do need more help in the bullpen, I think he might be a good guy to call up. And uh, not necessarily go for some uh, new foreign pitcher. As you can see, 
We also do have uh, K. Wei Ching and Inelbert Soto. Soto, oh, his starts have just been so bad. Well, I can't really say that. His starts would start off for the first time through the lineup just fine. He would he would be nearly perfect his first time through the lineup. But the second time through, oh, no, no, no. We, uh, he might need to go to maybe long relief um three innings max but as a starter i'm just not seeing it um my fear is that he's been sent to nigun for the remainder of the season uh ching also looking brilliant for for the start and then falling apart um We've got two foreign pitchers that we're not using, and I think that they need to find what their role is and get some use. We really don't need to go out and find someone else. Now, I did let John know that I had made these findings where the relief is looking a lot better than the starters, and his reply to that was, but how many leads did they give up? Um, what kind of uh, things are going on in order to get to the closer? Well, I guess we'll just have to save that for next week. And now it's time for the Pocket Calendar. Central League teams play host to interleague play this past weekend, and will do so again Tuesday and Wednesday, May 28th and 29th. We then return to Pacific League home venues for four consecutive games starting Friday, May 31st. John sits down with Hanshin's Matt Merton, who has really been on fire of late, in this week's Japan Baseball Weekly podcast. After the conversation, Jim will join in, and the conversation will turn to cover the Tigers, Nippon Ham's Shohei Ohtani's debut as a starting pitcher, and Hector Luna's 17-23 and 23 game hitting streaks. Be sure to tune in via your social media channel of choice. I'm always open to fielding your questions about the ProYaki Report on either JapaneseBaseball.com or the Google Plus ProYaku community. Feel free to share this video to other places or communities who have an interest in ProYaku. But for feedback, I'd prefer these two venues as that's where I know that I'll be able to see them. And with that, I submit to you this week's ProYaku report. Thank you for watching. Till next week, take care.